Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri, presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can control an AC load using this triac based AC switch on Arduino with single push button. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. separate video explaining how to use this AC switch to control an AC load with Arduino without a push button via the signal at this point. A separate video explaining this AC switch to control an AC load or AC bulb with two push buttons. So pressing one push button will turn the light on or AC load on and pressing the other push button the load will be turned off via Arduino. A link for the other videos related to this module is below the video in the description. This is a module by Robot Dyn and uh, it's made very nicely properly with proper documentation and everything. We have two terminals here for N. You will connect your AC, the live will be here and the neutral to this pin and it goes and comes back. The Actually the uh, neutral will go directly in here if you look they are connected here together and the live will go through this triac this is a BTA 16 600 which means it can handle up to 16 ampere at 600 volts but because there is no heat sink this will not be able to handle that so it will be few hundred watts this is the MOC 3042 triac driver so we do need another diac. This is optocoupler, which means optically isolated. So your Arduino will not have any connection physically in terms of electronic to this. These two pins that you see, they will go and connect on this and uh, circuit will be completed inside this, electronically isolated. This is a data sheet for this MOC3043, the model that is used here. And here is the a schematic diagram of this. It has zero crossing so you don't worry about those. I will provide you the link if, in case if you need to have a look at this. And here is a diagram for this BTA 16600 triac. This is your input of AC. The AC comes and it will be blocked at this point and it cannot continue to the load until the gate is triggered using this MOC3042 that has zero crossing receives signal from the internal uh, light emitting diode that will turn it on and off by receiving the 5 volts or 3.3 volts at the two terminals of the input. I will provide you the link for this schematic if you need it. The length of the module is 46 millimeters or 1.81 inch. The width is 22.4 millimeters or 0.88 inch. Of this, it was low, I just brought it up. If you keep it like this, the depth is 12.9 millimeters or 0.51 inch. And if you're interested in weight, it weighs exactly 10 grams. From this point, we have two wires. One is ground, one is VCC or switch. If this pin receives 5 volts or 3.3 volts, which is considered as high, the load will be turned on. In this case, we are connecting it to pin 5 of Arduino, where we can turn it on and off, or we can send high or low signal to this pin. And the other pin, green, is connected to the ground. And I've connected that yellow pin to pin 5. So this is connected now to pin 5. This was my wire. One side is this one which goes to the wall and the other side was coming here. I disconnected it, cut it and the live is connected on this side. The neutral is connected in here. This is the input, the green port. The load is connected on this side with the blue terminal. This is the live and that's the ground. In Canada, this is the live pin, the one that is smaller. The wider one is the neutral. 
in other countries you have to use some screwdriver live detector or other means to understand because the pins are exactly the same and you can insert it make sure to find the live and connect it properly switch which you turn on and turn off with the same switch the first pin is one is connected to pin 2 doesn't matter which pin and the other one is connected to the ground let me now explain the code where you can control an AC load using single push button so push on and push off in this case we are defining a push button because it's one push button and I, I'm, I've defined pin 2 for that purpose and power control pin where this is connected to the AC switch I have defined pin 5 you can change these pins uh, to any other digital pin and the load state 1 if you want the initial state to be on set it to 1 and if you want it off set it to 0 so the load will be in that state but later on this will be used within the code and we are defining the serial monitor using serial.begin with 9600 bar where you can open the serial monitor either by clicking in here or by clicking a tool serial monitor or pressing ctrl shift m once you do that then this is uh, the file the value will be printed and in the lower right corner this is a value if you have if you don't have proper value you will not be able to read it and you will see different characters so it must be 9600 baht so yeah you will read proper values proper text and we are defining using pin mode power control pin pin 5 as an output so this defines the pin and then this one pin mode push button the pin 2 this is as if i type here 2 as an input but we use underscore pull up this pull up means that uh, that input pin will be connected using a resistor to 5 volts or pulled up and that eliminates usage of external resistor with a push button and i have separate video explaining that why we need push button and how this helps eliminating the push button uh, the resistor with a push button so the link will be below this video this is just a text that prints on the screen inside the loop we use digital read and we read the push button like pin 2 so this will read the value and we compare it to see if it is low remember the resistor will push it pull it up so when you push the button it will be low otherwise it's always uh, high so if it is low or the push button is pressed let's say the initial state was one so if this is one then we say one minus one the result of this calculation will be zero and load state will be changed to zero now we wait 200 milliseconds for the push button to be released enough time for that and then we check if load state is equal one which means then we print this text load is on else load is off this is just the text and this is the line where it takes the action we use digital write power control pin pin 5 whatever is the state if it was one there will be one or high the load will be on if it was low or zero the load will be turned off and the loop ends and will continuously does the same uh, tasks over and over again and here is a demonstration of single push button the serial monitor is open and it shows the light is off which is true and when i press this quickly the light is on and when I press it again the light is off and one drawback in this method is that we have 200 milliseconds to remove our finger otherwise every 200 milliseconds if you hold it the light will go on and off and on and off and you can play with this number uh, the delay inside the loop
Thank you for watching. This was how to control an AC load using Arduino and Triac with single push button. If you like this video and learned something, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe.